Transferring from Northwestern University to Western in 1926, Paul Houck epitomized the meaning of the all-round athlete. A three-sport man at Western, he'd become captain of the swimming, basketball, and football teams. During the 1927 season, playing with his two brothers, Kyler and Eddie, Paul helped deliver Western's first ever senior intercollegiate title in any sport when they captured the Ontario Basketball Championship. A free press editorial of the day described him as one of the smartest and most effective defensive players ever. As a football player, the fast and tough halfback helped Western capture its first intermediate intercollegiate football group title in 1926 when they defeated St. Michael's College 26 to nothing in a home-and-home -home total point series highlighted by Houck's end-to-end touchdown run in front of Western fans and that saw him being honored as the team's most outstanding player. Two games into the 1927 season, Houck was declared ineligible by the Canadian Intercollegiate Rugby Union, who stripped him of his amateur status for serving as a part-time YMCA instructor two years earlier in what then were very strict amateur rules. The team went on to win its second consecutive Ontario Intermediate title. On the morning of the first of Western's two-game total point series with Loyola College of Montreal, Houck was reinstated. With Paul in the lineup, Western defeated Montreal 7-1 in the opening game, then traveled to Montreal to capture the school's first ever Canadian football championship. A disappointing 1928 season was overshadowed by the acceptance of Western into the senior intercollegiate football division for the following year, and it also saw the building of J.W. Little Stadium. Football fever had hit London in 1929, and Paul Houck was voted team captain of Western's first ever senior intercollegiate team. Now playing against the University of Toronto, Queens, and McGill, Western was only able to come away with one victory in its inaugural 1929 year. The 1930 season showed an improvement as Western won two games, leading to the 31 season, where in only its third year among the seniors, Western would capture its first ever Yates Cup title. The 31 season also marked another milestone for Western football with the introduction of the forward pass. Western fans watched Stu Ward complete that first ever pass to Paul Houck for a 20-yard gain. Advancing to the Eastern Canadian Championships with a victory over the senior ORFU Tsarnia Imperials, Western lost to the Montreal Winged Wheelers who'd go on to win the Grey Cup the next week. In 1932, Paul Houck became the first ever recipient of the Howard Ferguson Trophy, the most coveted distinction given to any Western student, honoring him for his achievement in athletics, scholarship, and college life. Graduating from medicine in 1932, Houck would soon join the war effort as part of the Royal Canadian Army Medical Corps, MASH unit, which would become the first Canadian unit to land at Normandy after D-Day. Returning to London in 1946, Houck founded the London Y Aquatic Club, where he would coach for 27 years, producing dozens of Commonwealth, Pan American, and Olympic swimmers. Over the years, Paul would serve as a member of the National Fitness and Sports Council of Canada, Vice President of the Canadian Olympic Association, Manager of the 1956 Olympic Team, and Team Doctor for the 1964 and 68 Olympic Teams, Vice President of the Amateur Swimming Union of the Americas, member and technical director of the International Swimming Association, Paul helped found the London Rowing and Canoeing Club. He was elected to the Canadian Aquatic Hall of Fame and was the recipient of the Province of Ontario Achievement Award. All the while, he kept his ties to football in London, where for 19 years he volunteered as the sideline doctor at the high school football triple headers held every Friday night at Labatt Park. Paul Houck, a Mustang legend.